Hi, welcome to MTG. I'm Ashley, and welcome to my channel where I waste my wild cards on meme decks so you don't have to. And today we are playing a super cool Simic Blink deck, which I feel like you don't see a lot of Simic commanders that focus on Blink, so I'm super excited to show you the shenanigans because holy crap, do we get a ton of value. So with no further ado, let's go check out the deck list and I'll see you in a second. Before we jump into the gameplay, I want to say thank you to our Patreons, Ishtari, JS, Brandon Such, Sasser, Queen B, TDM9, Gazanova, Snafu, Vinny Chase, Titanic Ultimatum, and Aircast. Thank you for being Sapolines. Tree Folk Level. Thank you, Team Rooney. Frosty K, I smell death on you. And our Heckin' Planeswalker Level. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Rory. Thank you all for your support. It means so much. Hi friends, I'm super excited about today's commander. We are rocking Vanifier Evolved Enigma. They're for CMC and they do some really cool stuff here. So at the beginning of combat on your turn, choose one. You can cloak a card from your hand or put plus one counter on each colorless creature you control. So this can actually lead to a couple of different ways where you're trying to win. Either you can try to put a bunch of your cloak creatures down and get them big with like doubling up on counters through like hardened scales or the boring clex ceaseless hunger those kind of things or you can do something that's even more fun which is blink the cloak cards so cloak if you don't know is you put a creature face down onto the battlefield there are two two with ward two and then typically the expectation would be you pay their mana cost if it's a creature card then you can turn it face up but the cool part is if we blink using like essence flux or any of these other blink abilities that we have, those creatures actually come in face up. So potentially for free during our combat, we could put in Ulamog. And then if we have a blink effect out, we can blink Ulamog and it will come in <laughs> as, you know, a face up creature. And maybe, yeah, you're not getting some of these cast abilities here, but the fact that it's a 10, 10 indestructible that when it attacks, you're exiling the top 20 cards of your opponent's library. So Olamog not getting that exile ability when you cast them isn't a feels bad moment. Same with Cityscape Leveler where we're not necessarily casting it, but we still are getting those attack triggers that are incredibly powerful. Also like Warren clicks and stuff like that. The other thing that we have here to kind of, you know, help with our commander's ability we don't have a ton of cloak stuff in this color combo but hide in plain sight can be really good to cheat out some scary creatures and then if we're gonna lean into alternate win effects because maybe our blink abilities aren't there something happened our cloaked creature that we really were hoping like old not bone got blown up we have other effects like forsaken monument again boring clicks to help double up on counters where if we're just looking to beef up our cloaked creatures that maybe we're not we don't care if you know they're not like old knob bone maybe it's like bushwhack and you're wanting to pump those creatures up then maybe we can drop a crater hoof and just bonk face and do that kind of go wide strategy instead so there's like different win cons that this commander can pull off so it's really important that you're able to keep your board state protected with counter spells or tamio safekeeping type of effects but i'm really excited to show you how this deck does because it's very fun and with no further ado, let's go check out the gameplay and I'll see you in a second. Lavino, first of the bless. I think we can mull again. Okay. I like that a little bit more. Just because we have better card advantage and stuff. Would be cool to get a blink effect too, though, just so we can maybe cheat this old knob bone out. Uh, put it in this tap. Hello! Boop, boop. That's fun. Okay. Open an explorer. Ooh, awesome. We are rampant. Uh, we'll do bushwhack. Get this buddy. Let's grab an island. Boop. Sweet. I always feel better when I can do that. And then I'll probably do dream root cultivate. And then thirst for discovery will be able to discard the island that we had to reveal. So cultivate. Do, do, do. Island. Let's get two islands. Oop. Perfect. Um, and then, yep. Dream Root Cascades in. And we ramped fast. Won't have enough for Archmage and Thirst. But I might just go for it still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully 
Archmage sticks around a bit. And this buddy here is the Demon Maker, and this buddy can sacrifice creature or artifact. But Archmage is probably gonna get eaten here. Oh no, okay. I was expecting the, the removal. Very nice. No blocks. Okay. Slip out the back, even better. Let's start with, oh, I just put in that basic land that I was gonna discard to thirst, but I guess since we're here, let's start with this. Hopefully we'll draw into another land. Oh, Rivers Rebuke is also good. I'm happy with that. We'll lunch on that. We'll get a forest, forest. Sweet. Uh, thirst for discovery. Draw another card. Oh, sweet. Okay. There's our island we'll throw away. Boop. Boom. Okay. We got all kinds of stonks going for us. Uh, no attack. Whoop. And then we can get our commander in and make sure they're protected. And we have Displacer Kitten. So lots of good stuff for us. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think we can take the damage here. Because I don't want them to get those demons. Sweet. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. We'll have enough to cast my commander, displace your kitten, and keep slip out the backup. So this is going to be real fun for us here in a sec. Okay. Resolve. Resolve. Mm -hmm. Let's do Tammy of Safekeeping. Draw a card. Sweet. Okay, so I think I am actually going to do River's Rebuke, so that way we don't die to any of those demons. Sweet. Um, and then I'll go ahead and attack. Oop. And turn. And we do have Heroic Intervention for when they try to Exile the Archmage, I think. There we go. There we go. I'm so excited. I want to do this old knob bone thing. My turn. Okay. And the Modi one might be fun, but I'd rather cast a Modi. Okay. So Lanzo is fun. Let's get the commander in. Let's get Splicer Kitten in. And then go to combat. We'll cloak old Nawbone. Sweet. And then we'll go bonk. Boop. Sweet. And we have heroic intervention up to potentially save us from a board wipe unless it ends up being farewell. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Um, submit. I think this resolves first, hopefully. Sweet, it does. Okay. Then we draw a card. And then we heroic intervention. Sweet. Whoa! We did the thing! GG's upon it. Alright. Let's go. <laughs> this really depends on whether or not we hit our third land. Okay, let's go. Let's see. Can we hit our third land? We are in Simic after all. Oh, we did. Ha 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 ha. Not punished. Never punished. Let's get another blue. Okay. That could be Doomscar or all runs of Hiphany. Probably all runs. It's usually what you see a bit more. Sweet, we are hitting our land drops. Um, let's put this in as a blue source, I think. And then I'll probably do Rhystic. Ooh, Oracle's quite good. We'll counter that. Don't want them to get those time walkies and blink that. Usually what you see a bit more. Um, Forest, Rhystic Study. And then we'll do Kodoma and leave slip out the backup.
Ooh, actually. Hmm. Now I'm tempted to put in my commander. Let's do that. Commander? Hope they don't have swords. Full cloak. You. Sweet. Uh, take action. Sweet. They can only target my commander, which my commander did what I needed it to do, so I'm not sad about that. I just need a blink effect, actually. Maybe I am sad about that. Ooh. Nice. No blocks. Oh boy. I really need a blink effect here. Um... Let's do this to draw a card. And you know, safekeeping's good. Slip out the back is good as well. But it is not what we need right now, unfortunately. Oh no! I thought I was all set up. But we are not. We don't have a blink effect. Ooh! That's quite good too. I'll block here. And then we'll do Tamiyo safekeeping. Try to keep it alive. Okay. This would have been perfect if we had a blink effect. Oh my god, we would be popping off so much. Blink. No blinks. This buddy. Didn't leave anything up for uh, the negator slip out the back, unfortunately. No luck. Oh boy. Okay. I feel like they have interaction up, so let's go here. I'm so nervous. It's a little bit of a gamble. Okay. Put in you. Draw a card. Okay. Okay, so we're hitting our land drops that we need. We need our blink effects though. No attack. Enter. I'm gonna leave this slip out the back up. What is opponent doing over here? What are they doing? Resolve. Take action. Flexing with all of their blink action. That's what we need. We could have, if we had a blink thing, we could have blinked old Mobbone and done so much stuff by now. Oh boy. I do like what their deck is doing. Okay. Demolition Field 2 will tap for 2 mana because of the Forsaken Monument. Okay. We'll wait for them to declare a target. Resolve. And slip out the back. Can't really afford to take six, unfortunately, can we? This is killing me. Uh, no box. Oof. Oof. Yeah. So, we'll do great hinge. We'll do forest. Rex Sage is not going to help us here. Let's do this. Okay. Nope. But we'll be able to flip Old Knobbone at least. And then I have Negate to hopefully keep some stuff protected here. And we have some blockers and some life gain. So there's some hope. I should probably put in Demolition Field soon. Um. Hmm. Uh, we'll first draw. Then we'll negate. <sighs> we have still some life gain. This is not super comfortable with this trade. But I'm still trying to do the greedy old knob bone. Um, we'll put in this friend. We'll turn you face up. We'll go to combat. And I'm only going to swing with 
Actually, it's Sween with both. Hopefully, it's not a mistake. So, I should make 10 treasures. And then I think I, I can see gate restoration. I'm not really sure if I should do maybe commander first and then see gate just to make sure we have some sort of like blocker. Okay. Uh, grab a forest. Then commander. Okay. Counter there. Okay. And I think we'll still have enough for Ottawara to bounce their commander back if they have some sort of sneaky sneaks. Um, say treasure decline. You just have to pick a target. Okay. And then, yeah, Ottawara will save. Uh, resolve. Take action. Uh, yeah, we don't have any counter spells in our hand. Resolve. So, bouncing you back to hand. Okay. I think we got this. We have time warp as well. So, it's just enough combat, I think, to take us through, hopefully. Okay. It's probably saying, oh, this all run in exile itself. It does. Okay. Oop, oop. Okay, I think I'm okay with that. We can rebuild. Take action. Okay. So, first things first, let's do Delighted Halfling. Then we'll do this extra turn spell. Then we'll put in the commander. Lanowar Elves. Um. Oop. Then we'll put in Coma. Sweet. Awesome. Okay. Uh, then we do Displacer Kitten. Draw. Sweet. Okay, next we're gonna go to Combat. We'll attack here, attack here. Boom, boom. We're gonna do Explorer. We're gonna blink this. Coma. Sweet. Sweet. Okay. That was Stonksy. Gee, I can cheese. Go Shentai. Okay. Mm -hmm. I do like Rustic. I like River's Rebuke here. So I might just stick with that. Hopefully this turns out good. Let's see. All right. Island. Pass turn. We'll get this Rustic in, especially if we uh we don't get a uh, get another land off the top, which will be sad. I always like casting Seagate. Okay, my turn. Oh sweet. Okay. Ah. Rustic study. Shenanigans. I might, uh... Ooh, that's very good for them. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is shock in our commander. Or not shock in, but shock the Seagate in, get our commander in. And then cloak. Let's start with the Vorinclex, because I won't be super devastated if we end up losing that. It would be nice to get a blinky effect in, though. Toski's good. Gotta love that. Okay. Ooh, Kadama's great, too. Do, do, do. Let's start here. We'll get... That makes sense. Should we get a forest? I think a forest makes sense. Oop. And then we can do... Let's do Kadama. And then, I don't know, attack here and see if they block. 
Oh, they didn't block. I got the free ramp. Sometimes you just do stuff and bluff and it works out in your favor, which is really funny when that happens. Just in case we had combat tricks, you know? Mm -hmm. Resolve. Take action. Sweet. Okay. Resolve. Resolve. Okay. Drawing all the cards here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, at this point, we're going to be able to just hard cast old that bone. That's a good one. It's the discard one. I'll just leave counter magic up, I think. Yeah. So we'll leave this memory lapse up. And I'll put it back on top of the library. And not in the graveyard. Resolve. Take action. The cloak stuff kind of gets around that too. Yes. Are we going to get a blinky effect? No. Sadness on the stack. Uh, Rhyme Woods. Let's do Explorer. Lighted Halfling's not terrible. Leaving mana up for all the things that we want. Yeah. Next. Then we'll just put a plus one counter on that friend. We'll attack here. And I just want to set up the fun blinky stuff that our deck wants to do. <laughs> That's all I'm here for, friends. <laughs> We're going to ramp again. We'll get a green source. Green. Sweet. Yeah, so I'm going to do the resolve first for this. See if they let us draw a card. Uh, resolve. Take action. Okay, love that. Then we'll let that trigger resolve. And then we're going to memory lapse. See if they have counter magic to counter my counter. Ooh, they did. Resolve. I think we'll still be okay. They only have two shrines out, so we only have to discard two. We've been drawing a lot. Resolve. Uh, resolve. Resolve. Boom. Okay. Resolve. Take action. Ooh, finally. Wahaha. <laughs> Ah. We're going to lose the counters on them, but still. Okay. Woo, woo, woo. Okay. Um. Let's do old not bone. Resolve. Greed. Lizard brain greed. We're gonna do this to this. Boom. Okay. Ah. And then I was gonna reverse rebuke. But GG's opponent. Oh, veto. Tired when that only is a two card combo and one of it's in the command zone. Uh, I think we'll keep this. Hopefully it'll work out. We have Counterspell, hopefully, and then Rhystic Study if we hit our third land drop. Okay. Oh, sweet. Okay. Oh, perfect. We're good. I'll have to balance the, the... where to keep our counter magic up, but I think it's worth getting Rhystic in right now. Just because uh, they only have two mana right now and they'll probably be paying any... or not be able to pay any Rhystic Study. They might not put in their commander right now. Okay, they're not. Perfect. Okay. Doo, doo, doo. I think we probably want to get to whatever helps us ramp. I don't know if that's smart. I don't know if what I did was smart. Because Vito is definitely going to start adding up. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to draw off this. We will draw... Sweet. Oh, and land drop. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Okay. Okay, getting a little nervous here. 
Um, oh, another land drop. Mm, let's do choice of fortunes. Okay. Uh, we'll decline because I think we actually want that cultivate because then we can actually bounce everything back. We'll hold up blocks. Or attempt to hold up blocks. Okay. Oh, they're not. Okay. Ooh, perfect. Oh yeah, that's actually real nice. I think we'll probably want to take out the ARF. Take action. Perfect. Okay. That's their main life link thing, or life gain, I should say. Uh, probably attacking with that. Okay. So, we're definitely going to want to cultivate. So, we're going to do forest. Where are you? Cultivate. We'll get you. And you in. Boop. Okay. And then I'm going to do hard hitting for this to this. So that we slow the roll a little bit there. It's still going to be pretty close. So pretty nervous here. Because we're only at 13. And we'll have to use a turn to River's Rebuke. And we'll likely be able to recast a bunch of stuff. Uh, resolve. Okay, so they paid their taxes. Good job, good job. Uh, pass. Okay. Um, yeah, so we will River's Rebuke here. And then I'm gonna attack. Oop. So we felt like we did something this game. I'm very prepared to get super drained. Oof. Okay, resolve. The other thing about why I'm kind of leaving the slip up the back out is if they have the is it Sanguine Blood, which is the enchantment that combos, like all they have to do is get the life gain started and it's like a win, so. Okay, we have Toski, that's good. Uh, resolve. Take action. Okay, resolve. Well, we were worried initially about our land drops, but we should be okay. Um, whoop. commander in. And we'll go to combat. Cloak, let's cloak Toski. No attack, and turn. Okay, so I'm gonna lose another one here. I'm just kind of waiting to see what, uh, they're gonna do here is alternatively depending on how much damage we can drop here we might be able to uh do, do, do the crater hoof Ooh, cityscape's great and having a blink effect would be nice too uh resolve draw a card resolve Pass. I think we're going to put you back and you. Okay, then we put you in. And how much mana do we have left? Just that one. Uh, let's put this friend in. We're gonna blow up you, I think. We're gonna do cloak here. You. Then you and you. And I really hope they don't hit their combo because if they hit the combo, it's game over. But if not, then we can drop crater hoof for the win. <sighs> I mean, maybe crater hoof would have won us, but I think we only, I don't think we had enough damage. Um, I feel like this is the more guaranteed way, unless of course they have a board wipe, but, or have insane money. But yeah. They don't have those two things, I think we'll be okay. Oh, uh, something else I'm not- oh, okay, they didn't- wait, no, they can, because they have the 
I still don't think they'll win because they can give everything lifelink, but now they just use that ability, so I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I think we'll just do a traditional crater hoof win here. That's fine. I am a okay with that. Okay. Okay. I think we got it. So, crater hoof here. Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to land where else just for the other boosts. Then we crater hoof. Everything's chunky. And then we go for plus one. Good game. Then we attack. Boom. Okay. Woo. Well, there we go. There's a way that you can win with only the cloak and not cheating stuff out. Ah! GG's. All right, friends. I am so excited to, you know, go over the MVPs with this. I think there's just so much fun synergy and really cool things that we can pull off with this deck. As far as MVPs go, I think Wandering Archaic deserves a shout out. I had a game that was, you know, the first iteration of this deck that wasn't really focused on blinking where Wandering Archaic just really shut down what our opponent was trying to do because it was an is it deck and we just copied all their spells and actually went through that. So Wandering Archaic is a really good defensive card in this deck. Displacer Kitten is huge just for being able to uncloak our creatures by casting non-creature spells and being able to blink things. So it's a super good card to have in this deck. And then I also think Forsaken Monument deserves a shout out because I added in some like basic wastelands and other things where we're tapping for extra mana or we were boosting up our cloak creatures to maybe bonk face and go wide. So I think those were really awesome cards that stood out to me outside of, you know, your traditional Simic scary combo creatures over here. So overall, I hope you all had fun. Let me know how you would build this deck or what are some cards that you think would be some cool synergy effects in here. I have a few pet cards, but other than that, I felt like everything is pretty highly synergistic and really pops off all together. But yeah. Uh, hope you all have a good one. I would love to know if there's any commanders that you're super excited about. Let us know. Uh, I do like Patreon exclusive or channel member exclusive contents where I usually take requests too. But with all these new alchemy cards, I'm really curious like what other cards you all are looking for and to see like different deck builds. But yeah, again, hope you have a good one and bye.